Web 3.0. Hello and welcome to this video about Web 3.0. In this video, we will discuss what Web 3.0 is, how much impact it will have in the future, and how to understand it. Web 3.0, also known as the semantic web, is the next evolution of the internet. It's a network of interconnected data that is easily understandable and accessible by both humans and machines. Unlike Web 2.0, which is primarily focused on user-generated content and social media, Web 3.0 is focused on creating a more intelligent and connected internet through the use of advanced technologies such as artificial intelligence and blockchain. One of the key features of Web 3.0 is its ability to understand the meaning and context of the data it contains. This allows for more accurate and relevant search results, as well as the ability to create intelligent applications that can understand and respond to user needs. Another important aspect of Web 3.0 is its decentralized nature. The use of blockchain technology allows for the creation of decentralized applications, or dApps, that are not controlled by any single entity. This allows for a more open and transparent internet, where users have more control over their data and privacy. Impact The impact of Web 3.0 on the future is expected to be significant. It has the potential to revolutionize many industries, including finance, healthcare, and retail. It also has the potential to create new opportunities for innovation and entrepreneurship. To understand Web 3.0, it's important to stay informed about the latest developments in the field. This includes keeping up with new technologies such as blockchain and AI, as well as following the work of leading companies and researchers in the space. Additionally, participating in online communities and attending industry events can be a great way to learn more about Web 3.0 and stay connected with others who are interested in the topic. In conclusion, Web 3.0 represents the next evolution of the Internet. Current Progress Web 3.0 is still in its early stages of development, but there has been significant progress made in recent years. Some examples of current progress towards Web 3.0 include Decentralized Finance, DeFi, which is a new financial system built on blockchain technology. This includes decentralized exchanges, lending platforms, and other financial services that operate without intermediaries. Examples of DeFi platforms include Ethereum-based platforms like Aave and Compound, which allow users to lend and borrow cryptocurrency without needing to go through a traditional bank or financial institution. Decentralized Identity DID, is a new way of managing digital identities that is built on blockchain technology. It allows users to have more control over their personal data and online identity. One example of this is the Sovereign Network, which is a public blockchain that allows users to create and manage their own digital identities. Distributed data storage is a way of storing data across a network of computers rather than in a central location. This allows for more security and privacy, as well as more resistance to data breaches. One example of this is the Interplanetary File System IPFS, which is a decentralized data storage protocol that allows users to store and share files on a peer-to-peer -peer network. Artificial Intelligence AI, is becoming increasingly important in the development of Web 3.0. AI can be used to make sense of the vast amount of data on the Internet, and make it more accessible and useful to users. One example of this is the AI-powered search engine, which can understand the meaning and context of search queries, and provide more relevant results. Blockchain-based platforms, the blockchain technology is the backbone of Web 3.0. It enables the creation of decentralized applications and platforms that operate without intermediaries. One of the most popular examples is Ethereum, which allows developers to create and deploy dApps. These are just a few examples of the current progress towards Web 3.0. It's important to note that Web 3.0 is still in its early stages and much work is being done to further develop the technologies and platforms that will make up the next generation of the Internet. Now, how do we access Web 3.0? There are several ways that a normal person can access Web 3.0 in its current state. One of the easiest ways to access Web 3.0 is to use a Web 3-enabled browser, such as Brave, Opera, or MetaMask. These browsers allow users to interact with dApps and access the decentralized Internet. Another way to access is by using a cryptocurrency wallet. Many dApps are built on blockchain technology and require the use of cryptocurrency to interact with them. 
A popular example is MetaMask, which is a browser extension that acts as a cryptocurrency wallet and allows users to access decentralized apps and interact with smart contracts. Using a decentralized exchange, DEX, is a platform that allows users to buy and sell cryptocurrency without the need for a central intermediary. One popular example of a DEX is Uniswap, which is built on the Ethereum blockchain and allows for decentralized trading of Ethereum-based tokens. Using a decentralized social media platform such as Steemit, Mines, and Gab, allow users to create and share content without the need for central intermediaries. This allows for more security and privacy, as well as more resistance to data breaches. It's important to note that accessing Web 3.0 in its current state may require some technical knowledge and understanding of blockchain and cryptocurrency. However, as the technology and infrastructure continue to develop, it is expected that it will become more user-friendly and accessible to a wider audience. It's also worth noting that Web 3.0 is still in its early stages, so not all applications and platforms are fully functional or reliable, so please be aware of the risks when trying to access it. Most important applications and websites using Web 3.0 Decentralized Finance, DeFi, platforms like Aave, Compound, and MakerDAO use blockchain technology to allow users to lend and borrow cryptocurrency without the need for intermediaries. Decentralized social media platforms like Steemit, Mines, and Gab, which allow users to create and share content without the need for central intermediaries. Decentralized marketplaces like OpenSea, which is a decentralized marketplace for buying and selling non-fungible tokens, NFTs, like digital art and collectibles, while Rarible is another marketplace that allows creators to mint, sell and buy digital collectibles. Sovereign and Uport are examples of decentralized identity platforms that allow users to create and manage their own digital identities on the blockchain. Decentralized prediction markets like Augur and Gnosis allow users to make predictions on various events and outcomes. CryptoKitties and Sarir are some examples of decentralized gaming platforms where players can buy, sell, and breed virtual cats and collectible soccer players. Decentralized data marketplaces like Ocean Protocol, Chainlink, and Data Broker DAO enable the sharing and monetization of data through decentralized marketplaces. These are just a few examples of the many applications and websites that are using or experimenting with Web 3.0 technologies. As the technology and infrastructure continue to develop, it is expected that more and more platforms and applications will be built on Web 3.0 technologies. How will it change the world? Some of the ways in which it could change the world include Decentralization Web 3.0 is built on decentralized technologies like blockchain, which allows for the creation of dApps and platforms that operate without intermediaries. More efficient and cost-effective services, dApps and platforms built on Web 3.0 technologies can offer more efficient and cost-effective services, particularly in the financial and supply chain industries, where intermediaries and middlemen can be eliminated. Improved data security and privacy, the use of blockchain technology in Web 3.0 allows for improved data security and privacy, as data is not stored in a central location and is resistant to hacking and data breaches. Greater access to data and information, Web 3.0 technologies like AI and natural language processing can be used to make sense of the vast amount of data on the internet and make it more accessible and useful to users. It's worth noting that Web 3.0 is still in its early stages, and it will take time for the technology and infrastructure to mature. There are also some challenges that need to be addressed, such as scalability, accessibility, and interoperability. It's also important to keep in mind that any technological change brings both opportunities and challenges and it's hard to predict the future, but it's clear that the Web 3.0 has the potential to bring significant changes in the way we interact and do business online. Thank you for watching this video about Web 3.0. If you have any further questions or would like to learn more about the topic, please let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos about the latest technology and trends.